I know a lot of you are here to ask about your defenses. So let's really quickly dive into my top 15, or my top, not top 15, but my top week 15 defensive streamers here for your special teams. Whatever you need, I got it for you. And I've got some guys as well. I'll talk about looking ahead to week 16. For those of you that tuned in and have a buy and don't need any action this week, there's certainly some defenses you can forgo. My number one pickup for defenses, because they're both solid this week and definitely in week 16 as well, are the Denver Broncos. 44% rostered, facing the Chiefs last week, cutting a lot of leagues, despite the fact they're seventh in total defense, seventh in passing defense, fourth in scoring defense, and ninth on the year in fantasy points. You don't need me to spell how good this defense has been. Remember, we've all heard the stat. If the Broncos had averaged 18 points a game, they'd be like, nine and three, I think at this point, it's been insane. This defense is so damn good. They had just had three interceptions against Pat Mahomes and seven fantasy points against them. They had 12 points against Lamar Jackson in Baltimore the week before. And this week they get a very, very solid matchup against the Cardinals who just lost Kyler Murray for the year, turning to Colt McCoy, who's a solid number two quarterback, but definitely holds on the ball for way too long. Six sacks against the Patriots last week, two turnovers, Fumble return for a touchdown. The Pats put up, what, 20 defensive points? The Broncos could 100% do something similar to the Colt McCoy Cardinals this week. And then the next week after that, they get the Rams in Week 16. The second most points allowed to fantasy defenses on the year. Baker Mayfield, yeah, it was a miraculous comeback last week. uh, But, man, even in that just beautiful display, they still put up just 17 fantasy points. Uh, they, They gave up four sacks in the game. So, Definitely in play, both this week and next week. A great, talented defense. The Denver Broncos, far and away my number one pickup if they're somehow out there. And they like the yard. Again, Kansas City last week, probably cut in a lot of leagues. So check first for your Broncos as a good two-week friend. So they get the Chiefs in week 17. So you need a new plan if you go to them then. But for the next two weeks, solid, solid defensive streamer. Now, if you miss on them, Minnesota, 41% rostered, gets Indy. Abysmal team, giving up the most points two defenses thanks to uh, a fourth best uh, 12. So the Minnesota Vikings rather fourth in interceptions, 12th in total, uh, 12 total takeaways, uh, 19 total takeaways. Sorry, tripping over my words here. 12 interceptions, 19 total takeaways. Both are fourth in the NFL. Solid opportunistic defense, even though they give up a decent amount of points. Colts far and away the most giveaways with 26 in the league. Top three in terms of sacks surrendered as well. Just the stuff of defensive wet dreams for fantasy. So big fan of the Vikings if you need a defense this week. They also get the Giants and Green Bay in the next two weeks after that. So uh, not incredible matchups, but also not matchups where you have to like go and scramble to find a defense. The Giants in particular seem to be floundering down the stretch here. And Green Bay, uh, you know, Aaron Rodgers looks like shit. So at least for this week against Indy, a great spot for Minnesota. And then fairly good spots in the next two weeks after them. Strictly week 15, just this week. So if you have the buy, don't even worry about them. But Green Bay Packers, 36% rostered. They get the Rams, who we were just emphasizing. Second most points allowed. Two defenses. Uh, They've given up five top 12 finishes in their last six games. It's been a high floor, high ceiling. uh, And they are best at giving up interceptions. Because Baker Mayfield, six ints in his last eight games. And nearly 3% interception rate for his career. More than Blake Bortles. More than Mitch Trubisky. These guys that we constantly associate with turnovers. So a defense that excels in interceptions, Green Bay, uh, they have eight on the year, solid overall, Uh, eight, not in the year, rather eight in their last six games. They've been really turning over the the, uh, quarterbacks at a very high rate lately. So Green Bay in a really good spot this week, but they're useless beyond this one week because they got Miami and Minnesota to wrap up your fantasy playoffs. So one week rental, but a very solid one at that for week 15 Cardinals. We just mentioned the Denver defense. Not a bad option on the other side is the Cardinals, given that the Broncos are absolutely abysmal. Sure, they scored 28 points last week. That's their by far high mark on the year. But they still, even in giving scoring 28 points, gave up 15 fantasy points to the defense thanks to six sacks, two interceptions, a defensive touchdown. Whew. The Denver offense has produced three top five defenses in their last five weeks. So high ceiling, nine of the last 13 Weeks on the season have been a top 12 defensive effort uh, for teams facing the Broncos. They are just so pathetic. Russ might be banged up, which I don't even know if that's a bad, like they might be better with Brett Ripien at this point, but 
without Kyler Murray, they're not going to need a ton of points. That one reason they put up so many points was because the Chiefs were absolutely smashing them. With no Kyler Murray for Arizona, it's going to be an ugly defensive battle. We got a boomer bust defense that, yeah, sure, the Cardinals have given up a lot of points, but they're very blitz heavy. They get a lot of sacks, a lot of turnovers. Uh, so definitely a defense against a uh, bad offensive line could get after the quarterback. And my last defense for week 15, sneaky, sneaky good right now are the Cardinals. Uh, not the Cardinals, the Carolina Panthers, 7% rostered. They've been actually genuinely good, holding three of their last four opponents to 15 or fewer total points before the bye week. And then 24 to Seattle, who's been one of the better offenses in the league last week and recording seven fantasy points in that game. Before that, 11, 9, and 10 fantasy points uh, there. They now get Mitch Trubisky, who doing Mitch Trubisky things. Three interceptions and 11 fantasy points allowed to Baltimore last week. So a great week 15 spot. They do get uh, the Panthers, Detroit and Tampa Bay the next two weeks after that. I don't know if Tampa Bay is anything to shy away from, but Detroit's obviously a good offense. So week 16, not looking great for Carolina, but if you need a week 15 plug-in, they're in a very solid spot against likely Mitch Trubisky. And even if not, Pickett obviously has been a turnover machine. Now, if you got your bye week, again, I still think the Broncos, one of the best defensive pickups you can make right now, given they get the Rams in week 16, we already have been emphasizing the Titans facing Houston in week 16. Now, Houston did look a little more competent, finally going away from Kyle Allen. Who knows why he was even there in the first place, but it's still a good option nonetheless. So if they're out there 60% roster right now, check for them. If they're gone, though, you do get the Chargers facing uh, Indy and the Rams in week 16 and 17. Two of the, uh, the literally one and two top matchups for your fantasy defenses. It did seem like against Miami, they only scored the Chargers three fantasy points, but they allowed just 17 total points against a really good offense. Seemed to really be getting it together uh, at this stretch run here. So I really think the Chargers are a phenomenal option. And then in week 16, if you miss out on all these guys, the Jets are still somehow out there in a ton of leagues. 38% rostered right now. Genuinely good. Let me, since week four, these are their fantasy finishes. 12 fantasy points. Nine fantasy points, 20, 7, 8, 10, 10, 8, 2, and 8. Really only one lackluster effort for this Minnesota Vikings defense since week four. So solid floor, good ceiling. Uh, and they also, in week 16, faced Jacksonville, who, yeah, they just steamrolled the Titans. Maybe they get hot and just start piling on points these last few weeks. I don't think so, at least not against the Jets. A genuinely good defense. Um, they do have tough matchups. After week 16, but if you're looking specifically at week 16, I think this defense, you know, Seattle in week 17 is really not that scary either. Don't love them against Detroit this week, but 16 Jacksonville, 17 Seattle, definitely could see the Jets being a solid next, at least week 16, really good spot. The last one I'll mention just for week 17, if you're really getting antsy, getting ahead, Jacksonville 5% rostered faces Houston. Now we mentioned, again, they've been playing better. But they did just put up Jacksonville 12 fantasy points against Tennessee. We've seen a few blow up games across the year for them. So if you really want to roster a defense for week 17 in advance, I would go with them. But I just want to reemphasize again for this one week, Broncos, then Vikings, then Packers, then Cardinals, and then Panthers for this one week coming up. And if you're looking ahead, I still think the Broncos make the best option. But the Jets, my second favorite option, Titans against Houston also very high up. They're just not out there in a lot of leagues. And then the Chargers for week 16 and 17. Indian. What is up, you fantasy wolf? Thanks so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, share your thoughts in the comments. Check out some more videos and join the newest Wolfpack by subscribing below. Ooh.